Hello, this is Quantonium, and welcome back to another Let's Play. We shall be playing one of my favorite games called The Longest Journey, and it's created by Funcom in 1999, and it is uh, it is awesome. It's uh, an adventure game. Funcom is, by the way, Norwegian, so hooray. They are known for such games as uh, Age of Conan and. Uh, Anarchy Online, and of course The Longest Journey, having a sequel called uh, Dreamfall The Longest Journey. Now, as I said, this is one of my favorite games. I've been playing it since I was a child, always uh, having fun, but uh, only recently actually finished the game, uh, because it uh, proved to be a little bit too challenging for me when I was little. Um, anyway, it's a, quite a long game. But it's, uh, I, I think you'll like it. And I'll be running it alongside my other Let's Play. So I'll always have two different Let's Plays going on. At this point of time, it is Lone Survivor. So do check that out as well, if you so choose. Now, let us see then. We shall be g uh, getting into the game. And uh, I think there are some settings, possibly to check. Well, maybe not. Well, whatever. Let us begin the journey then. So, you've come to hear me tell a story, have you? If you please, we would love to hear one of your stories. You have seen so much. You have lived so long. Oh, <laughs> so good of you to remind me of my age, child. No, don't worry. I am an old woman, but I've lived a long and fulfilling life. And I do have stories to tell. Which story would you like to hear? A true one. A true story. All my stories are true, child. There are enough fairy tales in the worlds already. There's no need for me to make up more, believe me. Tell us the story of the balance, then. <laughs> you want the story of the balance? Oh, that's a long story, child. And not one I'd venture to tell at this hour. But perhaps I could tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. A story that became a crucial turning point in the history of the balance. And that set in motion wheels that, to this day, are still turning. Please, yes, that does sound like a story we'd like to hear. Very well. This story, like all good stories, begins where it ends. In a tower. In a realm that is no more.
tell me I'm dreaming again. You know, for once, just once, it would be nice to have a decent night's sleep without waking up screaming from a bad dream at 4 a.m. Now, that probably doesn't make uh, any sense to you, huh? But don't worry, time will show after a while, and there will be secrets revealed all along the way. Now, let's take a look around this place. It seems very uh, interesting. Postcard pretty. There's a storm heading this way. Even the weather sucks in my dreams. I feel so charmed. Indeed. Now, I really like the art design of this place, but uh, for now, let us see what uh, this place actually brings us. So, we got some kind of egg. What's happening? Oh, perfect. I guess if I don't do something to save that egg, I'll suffer seven years of bad karma or something. You know, you probably will, although somehow I don't think karma is working that way. But anyway, what do we have to do to get this blue egg? Well, this big egg, sorry. Because we can't reach it. Did that sound come from the egg? Boy, that's some chick! I don't think I can get a good grip on it. It's too big and slippery and I might drop it by accident. Alright, so we have to find some other way to do this. Let's go over to the nest and, and check that out. It's a nest. Padded with large scales. Very large scales. For some strange reason, I have a feeling I should get the hell out of here before the tenants return. Hmm. Really, uh, I uh, happen to agree, but let's this grab one of those scales. I've never seen a scale this size before. Thank you very much. I'll keep it as a souvenir. Now, as in all good adventure games, you've got your inventory, which you can open up. Right, whoops, sorry. Left click, apparently, and, you know, use or, or watch. And before we go onwards, I just want to grab this twig -a -lig. It's as dry as a bone. It'd probably snap right off in a second. Let us snap it off in a second, then. Oh. <gasps> oh, the suffering we must endure. What? Why do you take such pleasure in torturing us? Torturing you? Who are you? We are the voice of all trees, the spirit of wood and leaf. You're a talking... tree? No, a tree does not talk. At least not in your tongue. The tongue of trees is the language of wood, root, and leaf. Who are you then? Like we said, we are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice is done, we must speak for the tree, if we are present. It's the branch. I shouldn't have broken the branch off. Oh, what does it matter, anyway? There is nothing more to be done for us. We are simply here to provide comfort in the final passing to Earth. We? I only see one of you. We are one with our host, as we are all one spirit, but legion. Yeah, uh, thanks for clearing that up. We do not expect you to understand. You are human. Oh, thanks. Well, in any case. So, as always, in all good adventure games, once again you do have options to choose from. Um, so let's just go ahead and choose one. What happened to the tree? Oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we 
Battle? Between the mother and black chaos. She was only protecting her child, but it would not back down, and the force of their battle shook the mountain. The brook that fed us was led astray, and without water, we began to wither and die. What's the deal with the egg? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. But now, withered and without strength, we can do nothing to help. We have failed the mother, and we despair. Our shame knows no bounds. Who are you again? We are the Wood Spirit. We come to all trees in the hour of great need to provide comfort and aid in the passing to Earth, and to give a voice to those who suffer. Our time is running out as we speak. The passing to Earth is about to begin. Leave us now. What about the egg? Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. And the Earth will know our shame for all time to come. Hmm. Well, what does a uh, what does a tree need? Well, it has some sun, it has some Earth, but it seems like it needs some water. Isn't there anything I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. Lose the attitude, okay? Just tell me if there's anything I can do. It is futile. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I'll find a way. Don't panic. We do not panic. Unlike you, we accept our destiny. If, however, against all odds, you do succeed, we will carry the child safely back into its nest. Do not make a foolish attempt on your own. It would spell certain misery. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna have to find a way to give water to this plant then. This big plant, this old tree. Which kind of is in the need of water. And if I'm not mistaken, I am hearing some water just over there. But I'll have to wait for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do join me for the next one. Uh, follow us on Twitter. And please do give us a thumbs up on the video. Because that really does help. And subscribe if you liked it. See you later.